Hi everyone! Hi! So, <laughs> it's Jennifer and Kim from Fleece and Harmony and we wanted to check in and say hello to everybody in our community because of course things have changed drastically since we recorded last and we thought we'd try to reach out a little more often because um, not that you don't have anything better to do. <laughs> But you might not have anything better to do. Right. <laughs> right. And it just so happens I finished my Franken sweater. Yes. So uh, we had something a little bit to talk about. And we're not going to talk about the thing. The thing. Because we're talking about that enough. But yeah. we are going to talk about knitting, which is our thing. Mm -hmm. Always. And uh, we're super casual today. So we're not, not going to be a lot of editing or extra photos or anything no. fancy. Because we don't really have time to do two of those. It's really a check-in. It's a check-in and, and maybe, hi. maybe if we think of funny, something funny. <laughs> like why my nose looks the way it does. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they can see that. Um, Kim's got a lot going on. So we didn't yeah. also get super dressed up or anything. No. This is more no. our, our natural habitat. But we're actually still working full yeah. steam ahead, in fact. Yeah. So uh, I was, we were just, I was working. And then I realized that my shirt was actually dirty because it's got spinning oil. Grease and <laughs> Grease from the lanolin and stuff. So I just put this beautiful scarf that I made. Yeah, and it top. actually does look, it is a beautiful scarf. It is, yeah. This is a Louisa Harding pattern. Yes, yeah. it is. Gust. Gust. Okay, yes. good. So if you Probably not to... also a lot of detailed show notes for this <laughs> one, depending on that. <laughs> no. And uh, I'm going to be sweltering hot within five minutes, so right. my hair situation will probably go downhill yeah. as the steam starts emitting from my scalp. Am I getting a little bit worried about, because I used the last of my conditioner this morning, <laughs> and I think that might be all <laughs> I don't have any to spare not, either. I'm not sure that's considered an essential item. Right. Might see you me in order it. And we'll warn you in advance that uh, no hair salons are open. So Yeah, and we both, uh, I, my hair appointment was supposed to be yesterday. Yeah. Cancelled. Yeah. So very roots. Not as bad as mine. One of us is a natural blonde. Sort of. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously one of us is not. Yes. But that's okay. Yes. Yet. I yes. too will be gray at some point. Yeah. I have maybe to say next I'm really maybe by next <laughs> week it could be. Yeah. It's gonna accelerate the process. Oh my gosh, this sweater is warm. Yeah. So let me talk about my sweater. So um I I I, I haven't sewn the air yet. I forgot well, that minor detail. Be, that'll be the air conditioning. <laughs> that'll help. Yeah. So, um and I thought when I first took it off the needles it wasn't really going to be boyfriend size but it turned out pretty perfect mm -hmm. it's just nice and roomy it is warm as heck yeah. I can tell you I can go out at any weather in this sucker um, warm af yes warm af um <laughs> and uh it's I showed uh on Instagram the beautiful cables uh it actually really is a lovely pattern yeah. and with all the moss I noticed stitch arms still and everything actually has some of your waist yarn still under the yeah there's a bright yellow I know yeah because that's where I do two, oh three okay. needle bind off all right holy gosh I'm sweating all is big I'm, deal <laughs> I might have to take it off and then you'll see what I wear to work I think yeah. I actually have to take it off oh okay it's very warm in here today because it's sunny and plus 10? No, not yet. Not Tomorrow, yet. plus 10. It was pretty warm zero. when I was out with the horses. It's only supposed to be zero, actually. Okay, so. well, I'm going to take it off because my, the shirt I'm wearing is my typical color palette, and yeah. it does go with what we're going to talk about because I there's going to be droplets of water coming down my face <laughs> in a minute if yeah. I don't take it off. So this is, this is what we actually wear. Yeah, so... T-shirts, um, it's always hot in here. Yeah, it's always about 83 degrees in the mill. Yeah, um, with all the machines going. Yeah, and the... so I just want to talk a little bit about how I modify modified this so I did uh, modifications I extended out the increases in the sleeve I found they were a bit sharp mm -hmm. um, so I just made this about twice as long um, as what was in the pattern the sleeves came out very wide but when I blocked it for length they went down to sort of a normal mm -hmm. size and I don't have very large arms really so it might be just my uh, shape um, I made the shawl collar a bit lower to make it a little bit more feminine um, the actual design, it probably folds over up here. Yeah. Um, so I just made a, a decision. But it's a lady's sweater. It is a lady's sweater. Yeah. 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 But to me, a V is a little bit more feminine. I don't know. It's closer to your yeah. boobs. I don't know why I think that. <laughs> anyway, there must be some ladies V-neck sweaters would have a deeper V than a men's typical V-neck sweater, would they? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I made it more Jennifer-ish. Yeah. Uh, I like it uh, a bit lower. And I know when Karen from Knit Night knit this, she also knit hers a bit lower. So okay. I kind of took that cue from her. The, the, the original pattern is more like yeah. this. 
Yeah. Um, so in order to accommodate that, I also made this probably quite a bit wider right. than uh, than you it's typically nice. would, so the that it folds down. Nice. Yeah, I think I did it perfect. Yeah. I really like the uh, d dimensions or the proportions mm -hmm. of the shawl collar to the sweater, and uh, beautiful cable panel that Ash designed. Um, Ash Alberg. Yeah. Lovely Canadian designer, and that's the end of the Franken sweater. And I have to tell you, it's very satisfying to have finished it. This was the only UFO I had mm -hmm. besides my one orange sock. Right. In my entire household, I've always finished everything I've started. I think. Can you think of anything? Nope. I can't think of anything else. No. Um, and there's like a lot of dollars worth of her yarn in this thing. Yeah. I think it weighs Wait. about four pounds. Right. And uh, it's actually still a little bit damp on the back, but I think that'll be okay to just yeah. dry now. Yeah. And uh, not to mention a pound of dog hair, which I've yeah. been working diligently with, uh, She's packing, been going tape, with packing tape, trying days. to get as much of it out as possible. And yeah. I, I think I've mostly succeeded on the front, but the back is still a little scary. And uh, it's now too warm to wear this. Yeah, it was really interesting to see how it looked um, yesterday morning, because as you all recall, the sweater was knit, and then slept on by Jen's dog for a year. <laughs> and then that and wasn't washed. in the pattern. Yeah, and <laughs> washed and washed. And then you were worried that it was felted a little yeah. bit. And then she knit on top of it and it looked completely different. Yeah. The blocking again. Like it was all enough. tight from here up yeah. where I started my latest incarnation of it. Yeah. And uh, if you recall, it seemed on the sides here part way up where I had the larger part I cut. Right. And then it's in the round from that point forward. Yeah. So it's quite a tricky little... Yeah. You know, but it all it works, works out well. You wouldn't be able to tell. My seam allowance is probably a little thicker than I needed. So yeah. what I left in my steak, and I have to figure out a way to kind of uh, tidy this up a bit. Yeah. Which might be just to sew this back like you right. were in sewing. Yes. Possibly or something. Yeah. But you know what? I made a sweater. Yeah, it's good. It's, and it it's turned good. out exactly like how you want And it's turned out perfect. Right. Um, yeah. So that's good. Probably not actually going to fit any real life boyfriend of mine, but it's... <laughs> It's kind of the look. Yeah, it's well, that was the idea. It's wasn't boyfriend it? sweater only in name only. Yes, right. <sighs> so I don't have any. I didn't bring any knitting, so I'm still working on my hinterland, and we had to do a little tricky track on on that because uh, there I had, as, as you recall, I changed the size and blah blah blah. Anyway, I uh, got the yoke done and. Certainly the benefit of a top-down sweater is that you can try it on. Mm -hmm. and Huge benefit. Yes. yes. Yeah. And in this case especially, it was. So <laughs> I tried it on and I was a little bit nervous about the yoke. And where I, when I started to um, um, split for the sleeves because I could see that if I raised my arm, I wasn't going to have enough room on the arm. And interestingly enough, somebody comment on, commented on our YouTube channel in the comments that um, to watch out because it might be narrower than you think basically. And I can in, confirm. In the arms. In the arms, yeah. yes, just this top part here. So I, because I had fully intended, because my arms also are not very big, I fully intended to cut down the arm size and go to the smallest size for the arms because the dimensions around the arm looked like that would be indicated. But I'm glad that, that that comment was made. And then um, Jennifer's the master of doing all of the stuff with the shoulders and everything. So uh, we took a look at it and decided that we needed to do a little intervention. So as soon as I finished the design on the, the yoke, which came to about here, um, I added stitches to make it the next size larger than what I was knitting. And I'm now I'm taking them out. So that was enough. I actually added 24 stitches. It was 24 stitches that um, that needed to be added to make the next size. And I split. Oh, I have to sneeze. Sorry. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> and then I split the arms and left them the larger size. And now I'm taking out the um, taking out the extra stitches that I did in the body. And I will do that gradually at the top. And then I wanted to do a little bit of waist shaping because this sweater is a straight up and down. So I'll do a little bit of waist shaping. And be done. But the body's going really fast. Hmm. Straight stock and net. I haven't done straight stock and net knitting in a long time. So it, it's going really fast. Yeah, that must yeah. be nice. Yeah, I did it with my Emma. But then I was learning that whole process. Yeah. So just, uh, I'm just whipping yeah. around. It's good. So I'm going back to my flat rock test knit now. I don't mm -hmm. know if there's a hope in heck that I will get it finished on time for the deadline. Um, 
but I'm going to get back at it. You heard it here first, Jennifer. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, my my Franken sweater ended up taking an additional couple of weeks that I wasn't expecting, of course, right. because of the sleeve right. ordeal. Yeah. So what else exciting happened? We mentioned last episode that we were getting in some new Rowan yarns, right. and they have arrived. Yes. And they are springy springerson springiness. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like this. Yeah. So we got a ton of beautiful colors in Summer Light DK, and we so many that we can't even show them all, but this is kind of a sample of uh, the color scheme. And uh, they feel amazing. Yeah. This yarn feels yeah. really amazing. It's yeah. soft and silky. Yeah. Um, and the colors are beautiful and I think it's going to be really a joy to work with. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I'm not sure which side color I'm doing my bikini in yet. <laughs> so I can't, <laughs> I can't say. So I just want to clarify too that what we've decided to do is that, um, we're going to try to carry as many colors as we possibly can of the brands that we have. So we've been adding and adding and adding to the kids still case. I think we're getting pretty close to having all of them and we'll do the same with the summer like dk yeah. in fact in this case though we ordered most of them uh we ordered most of them right away yeah the initial shipment, yeah because so. it's a cotton yarn it's a little bit less of an investment yeah i think there's only a couple that we don't have but we also got some exciting corresponding colors in the rowan kids lks like how yeah. juicy are these yeah really super juicy, juicy mouth watering mm, i love this of course i know oh, well i even like this yeah um, and there's some lovely projects in the latest Rowan magazine right. with uh, both of these yarns and we'll be getting in that as well. So we did also get one pattern book um, that uses both of these, is that right. right? It uses the Summer Light DK and the Rowan Kids Still Case. And other And some others, well. yeah. yeah. Like Rowan, uh, they typically use a variety yeah. of their yarns. So this the book, book is Hayes. Hayes. By Kim Hargreaves. Yes. Yeah. Is that what I said? You didn't say. I didn't say anything because no. the phone <laughs> rang in the middle of my last introduction. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but some of the designs I are know. beautiful. I know. They're real. I looked through it. They're really, really nice. I mean, I, we were introduced to Kim through Andrea, Fruity Knitting. Yeah. And uh, oh my gosh, she does just beautiful work. Yes. That's really I nice. may want to knit all the things. And I think in that book, if I'm not mistaken, they actually, she has a couple. Look at that. Oh, uh, so they're not, just stunning. There's skirts and everything look, in here. Look I at know. That. They're beautiful. Yeah. I think there might even be stranded ones with the Summerlight DK. Like this. Which is weird. Look, uh, not weird, but yeah. different. I mean, that you would use a mohair with a cotton yarn, but that might be. Not something. that you would have time to do it. Well, now maybe you might, but this yeah. could literally be your entire summer wardrobe. I know, but there's 21 book. patterns in it. Yeah, it's an entire wardrobe. Yeah. It's, well, maybe not underwear, but if I don't know if you count underwear in a wardrobe. No. <laughs> but there's sweaters and tank tops and skirts and oh my gosh. Like, yeah. The one on the cover is stunning, but look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. All the light, fluffy, yummy goodness. Yeah, it's lovely. I want to make them all. Yeah. There's none in there that stunning. you wouldn't make. Yeah. yeah just beautiful. Lots yeah. with the kids' silk. So if yeah. you're looking for a, a purpose mm -hmm. and, uh, and a, to make a me-made wardrobe for summer, it's really all in one book. Yeah. Uh, and we were very careful in selecting which book we were going to buy mm -hmm. because we knew we couldn't afford to get a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and we, of course, wanted to get one that used the yarns that we had, at right. least in part, and that kind of thing. So yeah. this will be up online uh, by the time this airs. Yeah. So will the new yarns, which yeah. is I've got and my we work also, cut out for me there. We also ordered, um, we're going to start carrying the Rowan magazine yes. as well. So we also ordered magazine number 67, which is the latest one. And uh, unfortunately, apparently, it's on a container somewhere in the Atlantic yeah. Ocean, <laughs> which is fine. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be here soon. Yeah. It's on its way. And in other big news, I relisted this. Yes. So we have a few. If you missed out last time, it's not toilet paper. Don't buy again if you bought last don't time. Hoard. Don't but hoard uh, but uh, don't hoard the silk noils. We have many more noils on the way, and we will keep mm -hmm. making it until mm -hmm. everybody's happy. Yeah. Uh, it might take a few months, yeah. but uh, we have no problem doing that whatsoever, unless there's a silk noil international crisis. Yes. Which could happen. I I actually know. did a bit of hoarding on the silk noils. I, That's not hoarding. We ha we need oh, yeah. it. Okay. Our people need the supply yard. chain. <laughs> yeah. So I ordered all they had. It was only four, four <laughs> packages, but I ordered them all. I just kept reducing my cart by one until I got to one where they said, yay, you've got en we've got enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't say how many were left in stock. You had to play, yes. play the game. Okay. That's right. Anyway, uh, this is part of the second batch. 
relisted. Yeah. There's a few, but yeah. if you were um, really disappointed, of course, the link to this is in the show notes. Yeah. And now let's talk about what happened to your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can see it. I, I did, probably can't see it. I you should have left it. <laughs> I did try to put makeup over it, but I have this. Uh, <laughs> can you see it yeah. with your eyes? Can you see it on your face? Like I can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. So it's I have a cut right across the top of my nose. So um, here the the weather is it's beautiful today, but what's what's happening is typical spring is that it's going to minus eight at night. And then it's up over zero or above freezing during the day. So you're getting melting, thawing, or sorry, thawing, freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing. It's a thawing, good time freezing. for frost seeding. Is that, yes, is that where we are? It's an actual are? perfect time for frost that. seeding. So then, uh, so the gates in the morning are usually frozen to the ground. So we have these big steel gates like you've probably seen on farms. Diamond gates. Diamond called, gates. Yeah, because like, yeah. they have the diamond shaped uh, rails on yes, the top. Yes, which are... Yeah apparently very good for <laughs> for incising skin <laughs> so they're square and ken is always warning us don't just haul on that gate because it has a big wheel at the bottom that helps you to move it but if the wheel gets stuck in a rut it's usually pretty stuck so it's not and it goes up and down like it has some give a to spring. it yeah. like a spring, a spring on, the yeah, wheel. on the wheel but if you hit something like a big chunk of frozen mud and then you push too hard, all of a sudden it rolls over. So I did, that's what I was doing. I was closing the gate, but I was pulling it towards me. And with your face down. Well, right here. And I was looking to see where the <laughs> wheel was hitting. And all of a sudden it went over the chunk that it was stuck on. And the point of the diamond hit me right above the nose. I thought for sure I was going to have a broken nose, but it's not broken. But it certainly was bleeding and the blood was dripping off the end of my, <laughs> end of my nose. It... It, did, it didn't really hurt, I have to say, until that night. Because it numbs when you... I've had my nose broken, too. Yeah. Another story. Mine's not broken, thank goodness. But, but uh, oh, yeah, sorry, not too. But, I mean, yeah. I've been struck in the nose hard enough to break it. Yeah. And uh, it just goes really numb and swollen. Yeah. Right away. It just feels kind of buzzy, like... Right. I don't know. That's why I describe it as buzzy. Yeah. So, I actually had a bloody face when I came in. Yeah. So, me... You and our mother have all had our no. Oh, yours isn't broken. It's not broken. Me it just has a lump. It just has a lump on it. It could have broken it if you hadn't hit it straight on. Perhaps. Yeah, so or was, down here in the septum. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just like right there, like that, and I was like, oh my goodness. She came okay. in. And she was not in the best mood ever. No. no, and it really looked like I was in some kind of bar fight or something. It was a fight with a bar. It was <laughs> the diamond bar gate. It was <laughs> messy. Fight. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, shocking. Yes, it was. It's not that often we get injured. No, thank goodness. Really. Yeah. yeah. The worst one was my toenail. <laughs> it's not uh, appropriate for... I still have the picture. We'll, show, we'll tell that story on the next it podcast. It was that good that I took a picture of it. We'll have to put yeah. a warning, though, if you're squeamish at all. Yeah. Don't look at the toenail. Yeah. We'll Luckily, we'll you have really warning. nice feet and really nice toenails. So there's nothing about, like, if you don't like... I know some people are funny about feet. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the foot. No. The toenail situation was really something. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. We'll tell that because so, we're not inserting any pictures or anything no, in this. So we'll no. talk about that the next time. And I'm sure somebody will remind us if we forget. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we'll, well, hopefully we won't forget. I'm pretty sure I still have farm chores. It's amazing the damage you can do doing chores. Yes. Some of so, us need steel toe boots and a face mask. Yes. <laughs> As it turns but out. The steel toe, surprisingly enough, you may or may not know that steel toe, you know, I know. Right. Steel toe boots around large farm animals are not recommended. Right. Sometimes. Like horses. I think it would have to be a pretty big horse to trap you in a steel toe. Right. The theory is that you have to have them rated a certain... Okay. They need to be rated for a certain... Okay. Weight. Stru- Compression. Weight. Compression. Because if you don't have the right ones on and you just have got like lightweight, lightweight work boots kind of thing that, and the horse steps on it, it can squish your toes. And yeah. Then, but I think there's, there's different ratings. Yeah. I well, imagine some of that. I mean, if it was a giant Clydesdale or something. Yeah. We have a friend that actually sells safety wear. Yeah. We'll have to ask Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful She'll... safety wear, believe it or not. Yeah. We describe safety wear as beautiful. They even make things for women. Yeah. Women safety wear, so you don't have to go around looking like it. Well, You've got the boyfriend's <laughs> coveralls on. <laughs> yeah. Depending on what your style is, yeah. what you want. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I yeah. need to get out there and have a look at yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff. 
All right, so that's okay. what's been happening. So yeah. business as usual, we are filling orders. Not quite as usual. Well, no, our, of course our the staff store, can't come in. No. And the store is closed. Yeah. And there's no knit night. No. Which is a pretty big thing on our social calendar. Speaking of which, is here's a little funny story. So our premier, of course, I think this would be considered his first big crisis since he's been the premier. It's yeah. certainly the largest. I mean, yes. there's never been anything like no, this. No, no. Unprecedented. So he was on, on television, and it's totally true, but he, he was being interviewed by the CBC, and he said, you know, funerals are a big part of our social calendar. Yes! <laughs> it's the wake. <laughs> the wake is right. Because the Irish wake, yeah, yeah. is... A social occasion, but yeah. it just sounded a little bit funny, but it's right. true. Yes, it is true. There are people going to multiple funerals some weeks. Yeah, yeah. so, um, the yes, it's a big part of the people, <laughs> families get together and everything, but they're not, yeah. now they're not even, now they're saying try to postpone the funeral. Yes, which can be done, yes. as we know. We yes. do that for someone in our family. Yes. Once. Yeah. So, uh, which is... So, I'm not sure how it's pretty common less so now that I'm a lot just of people thinking are that to creamy. people in Toronto that just sounds a little bit yeah. strange yeah <laughs> I'm gonna say having lived there myself actually having lived anywhere yeah before I came here I didn't yeah. realize like they still do the funeral announcements on the lunchtime radio yeah. and obituaries on the radio basically yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the whole the, whole the other stuff. it's uh we shouldn't really be talking about funerals and stuff yeah. but the way, there is a funny story about that in Quebec too, because in French, and I don't, I don't remember exactly how it's worded, so don't be upset if I get it wrong. But you're, if you do the direct translation, when they say um, like a view, you would say a viewing times and things like that. In um, Quebec, in French, they if you you literally translate what they say, it's that the so and so will be exposed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I remember that Ken is a very vulnerable Ken, position. Yes, Ken had a, uh, a co-worker. He used to work at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. And one of the um, really long-term employees that was kind of notorious or that worked there. I think they some of them worked there until they were really... Into their 80s. Into their 80s almost, yeah. yeah. Anyway, one of them passed away and they had the funeral notice in the staff lunchroom and he was well loved and everything. So, and then they translated for the announcement from French into English and Ken came home. He was mortified. He said, (laughs) so-and-so, I don't know what his name was. They, they actually, they say on the thing that he's going to be exposed. (laughs) (laughs) He said, well, I think it's a a miss, like a miss in translation. Yeah. Yes. Translating is a From French to English. An art, not a science. get it quite right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, so. They could have gone with, you'll be able to see him. Yeah, or visitation. (laughs) Visitation would be the right. Right. Anyway, wow. That's morbid humor. Okay. Yes, so uh, not really the appropriate time to be talking about about that. But what's appropriate at this point? Yeah, that's right. um, yeah, so anyway, but our, our just to let everyone know, our National Postal Service has said all yes. bets are off on delivery guarantee times. Right. They're still so delivering. They're delivering, yes, of course. And we're still packing and fulfilling and yes. sending out. Um, but uh, don't pay for expedited shipping yes. <laughs> at this point because yes. it will not benefit you yeah. uh, necessarily. And uh, speaking of that, I think uh, there are some customers who were a little unclear on the difference between fulfillment mm-hmm. and shipping. Mm-hmm. So our fulfillment, which means when we put it in the box, still takes up to 10 days. Yeah. If you pay for expedited shipping, that's from when it leaves here right. until it gets to your house. Right. So you can reduce that time by upgrading your shipping on our site, but it does not, it doesn't make us work faster. Um, <laughs> we try to so work as fast as we can. <laughs> if, we, if we were able to provide priority service, we would, but as it stands now, if we don't have something in stock, we make it in order of uh, the orders as they come in. Right. Yeah. It's dyed to order. And order. I'm not sure that everybody, everybody knows that, but because we're producing the yarns, we uh, we don't put anything out of stock unless right. it's something that we have in short supply, like the silk noils right. or some or angora rabbit hair right. or something like that. But our regular yarns, they're always in stock, and we always keep try to keep a backup so right. that if we have to dye a batch to fill an order, that we can do that within a day or two. Especially for dye lots, like I may yeah. have four of something, but somebody wants eight, I'll just dye it to order because we're able to do that quite quickly because we yes. can produce the yarn that we need on demand. Right. Yeah. So, um, so that's why we allow ourselves a week yeah. or sometimes two weeks, depending yeah. on when, when time of year it is to fulfill the order. And then the shipping is the, uh, is that's when the shipping expedited shipping would come right. into 
I'm not going to say anything bad about our postal service. No. But- but yeah, they we, we and we did upgrade the site recently so that you're able to pick faster shipping if you yes. have a yarn emergency, which we understand yeah. there can be. Yes, there I can. just realized too that I did have bloodshed this week as well. So yeah, I'm lucky. I was uh, well, it's healed up. You healed up quite quickly. Yeah, but uh, see, they I had see they won't be able to see it. But I had a big gash here because I was fiddling around with a professionally packed and compacted bale of wool, which yeah. is held together with pretty thick wires, and yeah. we had cut them. And I went down it with my hand, and it was all. Bleeding, it looked more exciting than not it was, to, not to evoke the movie Jaws again, but we're starting to sound like the boat scene. Oh, yes, so funny. <laughs> I oh, just here, it's I am. <laughs> He's goes, I brought what does he say? You just watched I, it the other I night. I know, I just watched it. He's go, he's like, I've got the creme de la creme, the <laughs> ultimate, or whatever. And he goes, right here, Mary Ellen Moffat. She broke my heart. <laughs> Richard Dreyfus is my favorite part of that movie. Yeah. He's is hilarious. He? Oh. Yes, he's hysterical. Well, of course, Robert Sh- Robert Shaw is amazing, too. Yeah, the old guy. Quint. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what a great movie. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've watched it, but clearly I have most of the dialogue pretty well memorized. Right. I can but play any I part can hear it over movie. there. So every now okay. and then. <laughs> do do I love it. Yeah. It's one of my go-tos. <laughs> the original one. The original only. Yeah. Yes. I don't watch any of the sequels. No. no, I don't own any of them. I don't think. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I guess that's our check-in. So yeah. we don't know what we might do on YouTube between now and whenever. All next, bets are off. For the next uh, episode, we yes. have to finish our swatching tutorial. So yes. I'll work on that. Yeah, we're going to record a full, proper episode at least every second time. Yes. And this will be labeled 34B. Yes. And we're going to keep with the regular. <laughs> this is like a supplement. Yes. Supplement to 34. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we can, it's, it makes it a little bit easier because we can film at any time because yeah. the retail store is not open. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> we are not restricted by uh, store hours at yeah. this point. So, uh, and uh, you, it's funny because we're, uh, we're actually, uh, are making arrangements with some local customers that want to buy yarn. They, they call ahead and then we're putting it out on the doorstep for them in a box that yeah. they can come pick them up. So no yeah. social distancing is, yes. full, is fully intact. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a different time, but you know, yarn goes on. Yeah. I mean, we certainly don't need to shut down by any means. I mean, it's just the three of us here working. And right. It had been that way for three years until recently. Right. And uh, we may have to slow our turnaround on stuff that's died to order. I don't mm-hmm. know, but uh, we'll probably... So far, we've been keeping up. Yeah. I mean, we're in pretty good shape, I have to say. Yeah. So uh, nothing new. We still yeah. should get uh, it fulfilled within uh, mm-hmm. two weeks and mm-hmm. then shipped out uh, by right. regular service. Yeah. Please don't pay for expedited. Yeah. You will don't. be disappointed. Yeah. I'm sure. uh, the one point, though, that we should mention about the expedited um, is that for the U.S. customers... The, the tracking number, that's how you get the tracking yes. number. Yes, yeah. That, that, if you, that's if you want point. tracking, that will add that yes. to the service. Which, yes, with the regular service. Which isn't service a bad thing. idea because yeah. of everything being so wacky right now. Yeah. Then um, you can, that could be one afternoon's entertainment. Tracking, your, tracking, your, tracking all your packages. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, a, that's something, that, that's a routine that you can yeah. embrace. <laughs> Uh, in your time alone. Yeah, that's yeah, right. So where's, I where's my yarn? I mean, we're mm-hmm. obviously going to knit. I'm going to drag my piano out. Yeah. Are we going to have more free time? I don't know that we're really going to well, have more free we're time. we're kind of just still working. It's just the same. Yeah. And we don't have our staff coming in, so we'll be busier. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to think I'd, I would get to play the piano or something. I mean, you can't do anything social, man. I do tend to no. go out at least once. And we had knit night and the workouts are done. So that was right. three of my... Yeah. Three... You Lots of time that are now. Stuff. I go to quite a few concerts and yeah. pubs to hear people sing and stuff. So that's yeah. all done. Yeah. Done, done, done. I will say, I know we weren't going to talk about the thing, but our province has probably taken the fastest, most aggressive action of any province in Canada. Yeah. It's and been great. Uh, it's impressive. Like, yes. I mean, this province is shut down. Yeah. You can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> what well, can you, you do? You can go to the grocery store and yeah. get gas. Yeah. They're being, um, they've really taken a great, uh, like, Cooper's right. is still operational, but only 15 people allowed yeah. in the store. They monitor the social distancing. Yeah. They don't handle any cash. You have to yeah. tap your card or send an email tra- yeah. transfer. Yeah. So things like that. So people are being sensible. But if you're a Maritimer living abroad watching this, yes. they actually shut down the liquor store. Yeah. <laughs> this has never happened. No. 
I mean, of all things, they would not shut down the liquor store. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what how we stay sane here in the winter. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, the, the the changes have been swift and substantial. Yeah, this all happened in the last two three days. Yeah. 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 If only well, my hair appointment had I been think, a week uh, I think our province was one of the first to declare a state of uh, yes. public health emergency. Yeah. So that, like, it uh, evoked a lot of things. Yeah. That have, they've also been very quick with um, the aid packages and things yes. like that and getting them. It's been... Yeah. It's I mean, been, we're nimble, you know, when yeah. you're a province of 150,000, probably yeah. makes quite a big difference. Yeah. And uh, everybody's on the same page as far as trying to preserve um, the health of our citizens, I right. think. Right. And uh, yeah, it's been, I have to say, it's impressive. There's yeah. been no fiddling around with no. what D- measures to put in place. Dickering, if we're, oh, yeah. should we, should we not? And, yeah, no, yeah. it's just closed, closed yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, right. Our dental offices are closed, unless you need surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, so. I think that's kind of national. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, there was that big dental conference. That's not ins- <laughs> that caused a bit of a problem. Oh, really? Yes. I haven't been following all that yeah. stuff. You know, I don't, I don't uh, tend to uh, consume a lot of media, but mm-hmm. I mean, I've tried to keep up with this as much as I felt was appropriate. Mm-hmm. And then when Facebook seemed to be getting ridiculous, I went to the CBC News. Yeah. So we have a little, there's a little daily um, check-in on our Canadian Broadcasting Corporation mm-hmm. site where you can see what's happening on PEI In point today, form. day by day. And you yeah. just go, okay, check, hair appointment, definitely not. Yeah. Um, whatever else. And the li- But the liquor store thing no, is pretty sweat funny for us. No, at the gym. Sweat no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No gym. My last, our last workout was last Sunday. Yeah. And but people are adapting yeah Yeah. somewhat i mean it's not quite the same but yeah we can work out online i actually shared our gym um is doing a whole online program right if you want to rachel and i are sweating independently now yes not side by side yeah yeah (laughs) so anyway and i did hoard a little bit of the peanut butter hagen doss i'm not gonna lie i have four of those in my freezer you left the toilet paper on the shelf but check the hagen doss well and (laughs) what is that dump the gun grab the cannoli (laughs) yeah (laughs) You're an, another favorite. Leave the quote. gun, take the cannoli. Yeah. <laughs> well, who would leave cannoli to go to waste? <laughs> leave I mean, the toilet paper. If you had take a really good cannoli, you know that that would be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I did. I did. I bought four of them. And then I went to another Sobeys who's clearly delisting it, and they had it on sale for two ninety nine, oh. and I bought another. Oh. So I have four right now because I already ate one. So at one time I had five. Yeah. That's a horrible so situation. It's a horrible situation with the Hagen Doss. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, Cooper's is. Fully stocked with toilet paper. Okay. No need to. I think they are. No need to Until hoard. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> no need to hoard. I, I, I have, have a secret bacon, bacon in the freezer. Yeah, the secret bacon. I have, I have some secret bacon that. in my freezer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we should right. probably say goodbye, I guess. Yes. Yeah. But that's what's happening here. Wash your hands, stay safe, and stay healthy. Yeah, yeah wash your hands. Yeah. Gosh, what well, we have to do. And wash I hands. just noticed that I've touched my face a thousand times. I'm sure. The- it's really difficult not yeah. to do. We actually were wearing. We're still um, not saying goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> we actually were wearing blue gloves in here, not because we wanted to, like, we thought felt that we needed, because it's just us. But we were wearing blue gloves to to be just a try flag, to remember not to not touch to your touch. face. And it actually it really worked. It works. Yeah, it yeah. does work. You're less likely to. But now I'm, somebody made the joke about uh, Smooth Herman's. Did you see that? I think well, Smooth Her- Herman's was a bar in Sydney a long time yes, ago. Yes, okay. And she said, "I've washed my hands so much that my stamps from Smooth <laughs> Herman's are starting to show again." <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> it was like the eighties. Yeah, okay. it was a long time ago. That's not that long ago. Well, that's pretty long ago. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that would sad. be forty years. Yeah, wow, eighty possible. Yeah, I'm so I'm still I'm only twenty five. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work out at all. I've not been to Smooth Herman's. No. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Apparently, they must have used some good ink. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll be back in a week or so. Yeah. All, all right. right. Bye, Take care. Everybody. Bye.